Hey, what's up, Birdie Bunch? So, I just wanted to chime in on this Will and Jada situation yet again. Mm -hmm. Mainly because it's teachable moments, not because they're rich. Um, very teachable moments because um, all these old articles and videos are coming out. And I saw, I heard about it before where Jada said she didn't want to get married ever. And that she was actually crying all the way down the aisle. So I'm sitting here thinking Will probably thought she was crying because she was happy. But she was crying because she didn't want to get married. <laughs> That's really sad. Oh. That's really, really sad. And she was three months pregnant with Jaden. Her mama said, um, her mama has apologized um, that she basically pressured her into getting married to Will. So... I had my own opinion about that, which um, I guess you all know that her mom used to be on drugs. Her mom is still was a nurse, but um, I feel like her mom probably said, you best to marry Will. You better marry Will. <laughs> Get on that come up, even though Jada had a fairly pretty good career, yeah. um, you know, at that particular point. Yeah, so who knows what the conversation was with her mama and her. I think she was... I think she was in love with Tupac. Mm. Because now they said, you know, when Willow was 11, she then came up with this letter <laughs> about how she wished Tupac was still... She wished Tupac was still here for her mommy and her or something like that. Mm -hmm. I was like, dang. That's disrespect. That's tragic. And I'm kind of, I said, why is everything coming up now? And then I learned that Will is in Dubai right now. So I don't know if he's doing his rehab in Dubai. But Jada out here at Debbie Allen's premiere. Um, I don't know if Debbie Allen has, has a new dance studio or something Debbie Allen has going on. So Jada went uh, solo to that event. And everybody was saying that she looked like an Oscar. Uh, <laughs> So, she did. I saw that today. I but I'm kind of like, why did she go by her? Like, why isn't she with Will? Wouldn't you think that that would be the wifely duty? She like she said she never wanted to be a wife. So, um, and when Will, if you guys haven't checked out, he has a YouTube original series about him trying to lose weight. That was pretty interesting, and I think she was only in one of the clips. Now, his ex-wife, Cherie, was uh, in several clips, and I'm kind of like, well, where was Jada? But anyway, <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, teachable moments. Um, relatable. relatable? I said I was relatable. You said it was relatable. You know, it's Will. Um, down at the aisle. No, no, now being told that now, that's hurtful. That's somebody that wants you. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, but he, I think he knows it. Mm -hmm. Um, then you know she was carrying on about how he went all out for her fortieth birthday party, and it was just for his ego. And I'm kind of like, mm -hmm. huh? Like, how does that work out? Mm -hmm. So. And then, my daughter over here says Tupac saw her as a little sister. I've been um, <laughs> seeing that lately. That, cause I'm, I, I was kind of like, okay, that was '96 when he died. So, like, would they have gotten together or not? So, you say he was engaged to yeah. Quincy Jones' mm -hmm. daughter. So. I don't know. I, I kind of feel like they dipped in. I don't know. Mm. They was hit. Um, <laughs> OPP in it. Uh, I kind of feel like they were doing it. I don't know. But um, he probably did feel like she was a little sister. But maybe she had other feelings. Because it seemed like she just can't let him go. Um, I don't know if you all knew. Keenan Ivory Wayans had a talk show for like five minutes. And she was on there talking about how Will was corny. And she didn't know she she didn't think she would end up with Will. 
So that was cold right there. I'm like, Will didn't see that. Right. Um, so it just seems like how a situation, how a person is deeply in love with one person and the other person don't even care. Yeah. Um, so that's what I was saying about a teachable moment. Like if you, so if you were in Jada's position and you didn't want to get married, don't get married. Um, teachable moments for Will. You see the girl don't care. She didn't care before. She don't care now. So, what are you going to do? I don't know. Oh, I feel me. like me and my daughter was talking about this for like 20 minutes last night. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. Like... You could have my son. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was like. I was like, if her mama, if the conversation was like, you know, you need to marry Will so you can get up on that come up. Because he was just finished. He did, I guess, Independence Day. So that's when he really, really blew up. So he was becoming his major superstar. So her mama probably says, you better get on that train. But if she would have had Jaden anyway, he, you know, he still would have been paying. So... But then maybe the come up was for her more in the Hollywood end. Um, but like I said, she had her own career. So I really don't think she did it well like that. We liked her more. <laughs> we did like her more back then in the set it off days and uh, 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 low down dirty shame. It's peaches mm -hmm. and um, different, world. different world. Like I don't know why. It just seemed like it was a Holly weird. Holly weird changed them. Mm -hmm. So. Um, uh, like I said, my daughter and I was talking about this for a long time. I was like, could you believe that she was crying all the way down the aisle? Nutty professor? She was okay, a nutty professor. I don't know. But, um, if she's crying all the way, that's, that's a perspective thing. Cause like I said, we'll probably on the other end, look like, oh. She really loved me, and she said, "I'm crying her eyes out. I don't want to do this. That's messed up. <laughs> That's messed up, y'all." And she said that Will overreacted by doing the slap, and she don't need nobody to take up for her. Girl, that was looking bad out here. She said she's not a. Um, how did she put it? She's not a um, wallflower. Right? And she didn't need nobody to take up for her. She could take up for herself. So, that right there, Will, maybe that's why Will is in Dubai. Hopefully, Will will come to his senses and uh, realize there's more people out there. People keep saying, well, Will had his, you know, side pieces and this and that. And He's respectable, though. I don't know. Like... <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Will didn't want no open marriage. Like, and they said that's all Jada was around was stuff like that. So, I don't know. And she said she never wanted to get married. I think Jada needs to paint that red table blue. Or take that red table out back and burn it. Burn that red table. That red table has caused nothing but trouble. Nothing but trouble. I don't know. She just, I don't know. Especially when she got that show. It's like, she really, like, just telling all their business. For no reason. Like, we didn't know. Like, I, I was, that was the other teachable moment. Thank you. I don't know how I remember. Um, I need to start writing notes. Um, the other teachable moment. I lost it again that quick. <laughs> oh, no. It's terrible. It was a teachable moment, y'all. Oh, I can't believe I had it and it's gone. Oh, that's how you know. You got a lot on your mind or you're getting old. Oh, the teachable moment. I, I forget stuff, too. Yeah. Relationship goals. Um, okay, listen. J um, Jada. <laughs> Alicia Keys had that song up by all them couples, right? Fictional and real. And she had James and Flo Evans and all that. <laughs> um, and acting out, acting out like uh, Jada and Will or something like that she had. So 
you know, for the longest time, everybody saw them as couple goals. So that's a huge thing. <sighs> Never look at people as couple goals. I saw um, this couple, not famous. And she said that they had broke up. I just saw this on Instagram. One of our YouTube fam. She said she broke up with the dude. And I'm like, dang, I thought y'all was happy. And I'm like, oh, I kind of wish I had somebody like that. Stop it. Stop it. Because you don't know. You don't know what's going on behind the teeth. All the smiles. Oh, I love him. Oh, they all hugged up. Oh, that's my boo. But, um, yeah, in front of the camera. But then behind the camera, behind the doors is another subject. So, never be envious. That's a teachable moment. Never be envious of somebody else's situation because you don't know. Yeah. And, like I said, Jada and Will were a couple goals. Like, I used to be like, dang, they must got it. This must be so nice. I used to say that. And, um... Now, since they didn't told all their business, which is their fault, and Jada's mostly, everybody's like, people are like, stop getting on Jada. No, it's her fault. It is her fault. She told everything. Will wasn't saying nothing. Mm -hmm. Will was saying, mind our business. He is right. He is right. I don't know why she felt the need to tell everything. I really don't. Like, why? Are you that bored? You don't have, you guys got money like that. You shouldn't be bored. You should be over in Africa helping out. Um, you should be over here helping out the impoverished. And mm -hmm. Not saying that they don't, but I'm saying you can't be that bored that you have to sit there and tell all your business. And be surprised that everybody's talking about it. <laughs> like, oh my goodness, they're still there talking about my business. Well, you just told it. So, nobody had to dig for it. Nobody had to, you told it, so... Um, that's y'all fault. And um, Chris Rock has recently said, as of yesterday, he's not saying nothing till he get paid. And I'm like, and then somebody was like, uh, well, we didn't know, we know about the story now. No, we don't know it from Chris Rock. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It's kind of vague. How does he mean getting paid? Does he mean getting paid by Will? Does he mean getting paid by the Academy? Does he mean getting paid since he was on the job? Because they, they might have to pay him for that. Um, does he mean getting paid by Oprah? Does he mean <laughs> getting paid by Gail King or other talk shows? Like what? And um, he probably means all of that. So I don't blame him one bit. He had to sit there. His daughters were probably watching him get slapped on TV. So that was that was. Tick. Can you imagine seeing your daddy get slapped on TV? <laughs> wow, well, not my daddy. Cause oh, my okay. daddy. My daddy got slapped on TV. I, um, it would have been, it wouldn't have been good. Um, it wouldn't have been good if he slapped me. I'm telling you. Uh, nope. but he he was about to. I don't know what held him back. He was about to. He's about. Ooh, I, ooh, yeah. He was about to get him. Mm -hmm. He had like one split second to think about that. I don't know. I would have kicked him in the back. I don't know. Like I said, we would have been this way on that stage. This way. We would have tore the curtains down. We would have been down upstairs. That was funny. I don't know. But, yeah. I don't know. Gosh. Like, uh, Tony Rock said, Tony Rock was going off on that stage. On his comedy stage. He was like, yeah, you gonna, you gonna hit my brother? Y'all look it up. Huh. He said, it's ten of us. So, and then people are like, well, he should have told that joke. I don't care what he said. Um, <laughs> especially when he was laughing at first and he looked over at her. It's like she she knew what she was doing, man. Like, mm -hmm. she know what she doing now. She said, that would have hurt me if I was well. I didn't need no protection. I didn't need no help. Yeah. Wow. Really? Really? You didn't need me? Wow. That's perfectly fine. And that clip that I had about, um, you know, she's trying to film him on the spot. And he said, basically, don't do that. And um, she kept on asking him. And then somebody else said that that clip was longer and that they were really playing. I don't think so. 
the way Will looked in that clip, it didn't look like he was playing. Like, like don't be just filming me, you know. You gotta ask me first. You're gonna put me on the spot asking me a question about our marriage. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like a stare has helped us redefine our marriage? What? He looks so sad. He does look sad. He looks sad all the time. And Nia Long, I don't know where she was, what event that was. I don't know if that was the Oscars or not, but she wanted to take a picture with him, and he was acting very, very funny. I don't know if he was acting weird because maybe Jada, I'm like, no, she don't care. No, she don't, I don't think she care about him. With no, I don't know. I don't think she care about him being with no girls, taking pictures and with no girls. Or maybe if it was just Nia Long in particular. I don't know. But he was acting weird. And then people said before, like, when they arrived to the Oscars, they looked like they had just had an argument or something like that. So, I don't know. Y'all go look all this stuff up. Because I was like, Dad, he was kind of acting weird when Nia Long was like, come here. Picture with me. He's acting all funny. I mean, he ended up taking a picture with her, but it was just weird. It's not Will. So, she's like, she drained the life out of him. Like, <laughs> and people are like, how can one person do that? Well, so, they can. They sure can. If you think you love somebody, <laughs> I know. You should try to hold on to your family and you really love the person. And you do go through a lot of years trying to make things work with somebody, even though it's a one-sided relationship. So don't do that either. Like, wasting your life no on, on one person. <laughs> Huh? No, the signs. Oh, plenty of signs. And you just... Pass on? Yeah, you just like, oh, I don't see that. I don't see that. Sure. I don't see that. But you do. And Will sees it too. That's why I said I don't care that they're rich. Like I said, it's a relatable, teachable moment. Um. So, yeah. You don't want to get married. Don't get married. Stop listening to people. Stop telling your business. Um, and that's what they said about stop telling your business when you having problems with your dude or your girl and you having problems and y'all get back together where you done already told your family that, um, how trash, uh, that your dude or your girl did you. Now they looking at your dude or your girl a different kind of way. Y'all now in love again, but you done told all your business. Stop telling all your business. That's the main thing. So, who's the bad guy? It's just a teachable moment. So, um, I hope I remembered everything that I was going to say about Jada and Will. I hope this is the end of me talking about them. But, of course, if something else happens, um, then I'm going to talk about it. But I just hope that um, he shouldn't have to go to no rehab. Hopefully they, t they tell Will at the rehab... Will, you just, somebody just touch his face. Will, wake up. Don't let a five foot size zero <laughs> chick run your life. She done ran your life for almost 30 years. For real. Doing stuff you don't even want to do. Yeah, open relationship, marriage. You don't want to do it. That's another thing. If people approach you with something like that, don't do it. My poor daughter and her little life. What? Talk about your little situations. Oh. <laughs> she oh, ain't do it. Do what? Oh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> well, was he your boyfriend? Who? Geronimo. No, he was just dating. Those are nicknames I give these people. Yeah. Oh yeah. So Geronimo, I thought he I said, Oh, I said in my head, I didn't tell her. I said, Oh, he probably gonna be the one. That's what everybody thought. I said, Oh, <laughs> he probably gonna be the one, right? So yeah. then what is that? Had had who well, you have a girl approach you? Or did he he's on the phone. He was on the phone with the girl. No, she was there. She was with him. Yeah. FaceTime. So basically they wanted her to join in. Can't trust anybody. What? So that right there, that was her decision moment 
to get away. Exactly. So, now if she wasn't strong-minded, she would be like, oh, okay. Sure. Then what she would have been in now? A three, three, triple, what do you call that? Polyamorous? Oh, yeah. Like D. Ray Davis? Oh, yeah. He seems very happy. That's because they all agreed, and they really agreed that that's what they wanted. So, that's the thing. You got to want it. And if you don't, you got to get out. You got to run. Mm. You got to, Molly, you in danger, girl. You got to leave. <laughs> For real. What? That was a hurting situation. That was terrible at her young age. She could approach like that. And she could have been like, yeah, okay. And then she would have all her 20s, 30s. With this situation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same as Will looking sad. And he act like he don't know why. And maybe he don't know. He know why. He gotta know. Exactly. But I hope I laid out all the teachable moments. Because um, I have an aunt. And she keep asking my mom. Um, about do I have a boyfriend. I don't care. I, I really don't. Like. If I happen to be somebody, I, I think the ideal thing is you meet somebody in a grocery store. Like, hey. Now, this dude, I had got my tooth pulled out. <laughs> so, I'm in the road farm like an hour later. So, this thing is swolled up, right? And I had the mask on, so I guess he couldn't tell. I said, I must have been looking good from the eyes up. I don't know. But he was asking me, do I get coffee there a lot? Blah, 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 blah. But he never followed through. I don't understand. Like, and I'm kind of like, yeah, I, I get coffee here, you know. And uh, he's like, you know, they have those cups there. You can get them. You don't have to keep paying the full price every time. And, and you know, and he, he was all like, "How, hi, how was your day? Oh, good openings, everything. And he said, like, okay, um, see you later. And some type of day, I'm like, um. What was not you? Know, <laughs> I could tell that the dude liked me, right? But what was I supposed to say? Right. And then I was, like I said, it was not the right time anyway. But he didn't have any follow through on that. Like, anyway, like I said, I don't care about no boyfriend right now. But like I said, that would have been the perfect opportunity if you meet somebody in person. In the store, the grocery store, whatever, yeah. um, to meet somebody. But, um, like, my aunt is always worried about some dude. Like, I don't care. I guess she like, I don't know, I don't care. Like, I used to be like, I don't want to be alone. That's why I was with their dad, because I don't want to be alone. I don't care. It's better to be alone. Yeah. It's better to be alone and have your peace of mind. Nobody's in your pocket. Um, or tell you what to do. That too. I would have been so further along in life. Um, see, like, over here, when I was with their dad, I had, like, everything in my name. So, he didn't have to worry about if stuff got paid. It was on me, basically. So, um, I, you know, so financially, I had to worry about fixing things, you know, so I had to do all this stuff, so I'm like, okay, basically, I'm alone anyway, with a roommate that's here sometimes, and here when he wants to and when he doesn't want to be, so, yeah. oh. basically, so just be by yourself until you run into somebody, maybe, if not, then oh well. Yeah, it's just hard to accept it, you know. You're young. Yeah. Else, no, you said it wrong. I did. Oh, I guess she said I don't talk too much. Sorry, y'all. I didn't. I don't know. Like I said, I had a little bit of this. I don't have that much alcohol, lady, but. Yeah, I don't know. It, it'll help somebody. Yeah. 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 That Teddy Dog scam video. Um, there's so many people that said that uh, we made their day. So if we could make if we can make one person day, then we did our job. Or uh, we could help somebody out in some sort of way, then we did our job on here. So, alrighty, comment down below your thoughts and uh, 
I'll see you guys next time. Take care, be safe, be well. Bye. Bye on the Halloween again.